I have now been specializing in nutritional medicine for well over 17 years. I have researched the medical literature for approximately the same amount of time in regards to the health benefits my patients could receive by consuming high quality nutritional supplements. One of the major concerns my patients always seem to have is the safety involved in taking the amount of supplementation I recommend. The medical community is also very engaged in telling individuals that taking nutritional supplements can actually be dangerous to their health. I have now written and published five books that have been bestsellers worldwide. I have actually dedicated entire chapters to the subject of the safety of nutritional supplements. However, I feel that it's appropriate to share with you what I have learned about the safety of supplementation over the past couple of decades. One of the first things I had to deal with as a physician was that I was taught in medical school that all you needed were RDA or that recommended daily allowance levels of nutritional supplementation. An individual can consume 100% of the RDA levels by eating a very healthy diet. This is why most physicians state that you do not need to be taking nutritional supplements, but instead just need to eat a healthy diet. In fact, this is what I told my patients for the first 23 years of my medical practice. However, when I began researching how RDAs were developed, I changed my mind. You see, RDAs were developed in the late 1930s and early 1940s as that minimal amount of nutrition needed to avoid what is referred to as acute deficiency diseases, like pellagra, scurvy, and rickets. In the early 1950s, this definition was expanded to include the amount of nutrition for normal growth and development. However, when I began studying the medical literature in regards to the health benefits of consuming nutritional supplements in my patients who were suffering from chronic degenerative diseases, I realized that RDAs had nothing to do with chronic degenerative diseases. You had to be consuming nutritional supplements at much greater levels to have any chance of having a positive health response. The RDA for vitamin E, for example, is usually considered to be 30 IUs per day. However, the medical literature does not document any health benefit until you reach at least 100 IUs daily. The health benefits seem to improve until you reach 300 to 400 IUs of vitamin E. However, there are studies that have been done with participants consuming over 3,000 IUs of vitamin E without any harmful side effects. Therefore, most physicians who specialize in nutritional medicine feel that the optimal or advanced level of vitamin E should be somewhere around 300 to 400 IUs, which is well within the safe range. Just try to go out and eat 400 IUs of vitamin E each day. You would only need to eat 33 heads of spinach or maybe 27 pounds of butter or five pounds of wheat germ each and every day to get that level of vitamin E. Now another example is vitamin C which has an RDA of about 60 milligrams daily. However, health benefits have not been documented in our medical literature when it comes to diseases like heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and macular degeneration until a daily level of at least 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C is reached. In fact, there have been several studies that have used over 10,000 milligrams of vitamin C daily in their study participants without any adverse effects. Now again, most specialists in nutritional medicine believe that you should be supplementing with at least 1,000 to let's say 1,500 milligrams of vitamin C daily. To consume that level of vitamin C in your diet, you would need to eat 18 large oranges or 80 avocados. The government requires nutritional companies to actually label their ingredients as percent of daily values or DV, which are now based on RDA levels. When nutritional companies provide these optimal or advanced levels of nutritional supplements, many are going to be listed as anywhere from 500 to even sometimes 3,000 percent of daily values. Even though some in the medical community will claim that these are unsafe levels, clinical studies have shown that these levels are well within a safe range. Recommended daily allowance levels have nothing to do with chronic degenerative diseases that you and I would want to avoid and have very little, if any, health benefits. 
I recommend all of my patients take the RX Optimals that provide the cellular nutrition I recommend that put all of these essential nutrients in convenient mineral and vitamin capsules that allow these nutrients to work together in a synergistic and safe fashion. The RX Optimals contain these optimal or advanced levels of nutritional supplementation that I recommend to all of my patients, which are not only safe, but also the levels needed to provide a significant health benefit. There's a good reason why I titled my book, What Your Doctor Doesn't Know About Nutritional Medicine. It not only supports the use of these optimal levels of supplementation found in the antioxidant and mineral capsules that make up the RX Optimals, but also details why it's safe to take these advanced levels of supplementation.